You hear about 5G all the time these days. It's all over the news. All the wireless companies are talking about it. Even with everyone talking about it, a lot of people don't yet understand what 5G actually is. How does it work? What impact will it have? Here's a quick explainer. 5G is the fifth generation of cell phone networks replacing 4G LTE. 5G is a completely new technology and infrastructure for cell networks. Like 4G and 3G cell phones, 5G uses a form of non-ionizing EMF radiation to communicate. This is similar to the radiation emitted by your cell phone, cordless phone, and Wi-Fi router. And there are literally thousands of high-quality, peer-reviewed scientific studies linking this radiation to numerous negative health outcomes, like infertility and cancer. And the World Health Organization lists it as a Class 2B carcinogen. While 5G is similar to earlier forms of wireless radiation, it is also different. 5G is designed to operate at much higher frequencies, with much more energy than 4G. And the 5G network will run with a lot more power than 4G. 5G also requires many more cell antennas to support the network, and these antennas will be closer to the ground where people spend their time. This is also 5G can support much faster downloads, with many more devices connected to the network. This is critical to understand. 5G is not just for cell phones. 5G is also designed to support the Internet of Things, which are connected devices like smart cars and smart homes. This means there will be an order of magnitude explosion in the number of wireless devices emitting this radiation. So 5G will run with more energy, more power, and more and closer sources than prior forms of wireless networks. And it's important to remember that 5G will not replace our existing exposures. Exposure to 5G radiation is in addition to what we're already exposed to. This is a major and entirely new class of EMF. There has been no testing performed on the health effects. None. This is standard for how the wireless industry rolls out technology. And how government regulates it. And this is why many are sounding the alarm. And it's not just health advocates or a small niche of concern. For example, the entire city of Brussels, Belgium, has put a moratorium on 5G. The people of Brussels are not guinea pigs, whose health I can sell at a profit, was the direct quote from their environment minister. So we at SYB remind you that the best way to shield your body against the health risks of 5G is to stay informed.